everyone welcome back in this video i'm going to tell you what are the types of events and what can be done with that particular type of event and what can't be done before we proceed i would like to tell you that this is my um, blog learn with combs.blogspot.com so here you can find more uh, written written format of uh, every uh, topic in uh, detail instructions I, I have given in a detail instruction so if you click on any blog okay you can find the page you, you can read it step by step you will understand what is that and you can follow my blog if you click on follow here you can follow my blog so that you can get you will get the latest update this is the my this is my github page where i'll be uploading all the code which whatever i'm just explaining in the video you can find the code here okay i'll be uploading the code here and this is my um, <coughs> youtube channel gomes tech talks where there will be a microsoft dynamics 365 business central playlist so here you can find all the videos i'll be updating this playlist every week weekly twice or thrice you can find um you can find the videos here i'll be updating here so in the previous video we have discussed that what is the process of an event so that is first one is you have to publish the event and second one is you have to raise the event and third one is you have to subscribe the event so now let us discuss about the types of event we have five types of event first one is what business event so by the name itself you can easily understand that business event is basically uh, that is related to the business process like you can just uh, make it like a, uh, if you wanted to um, create a workflow for example once you submit the sales order what it should do once you uh, create a customer what it should do so this is a workflow right so cust the business event is also a custom event okay this is not a built-in event first let us understand what is a custom event and the base event so custom event in the sense you can write the event base event is already written event you have to just use it okay so custom event that you can write the event and raise the code okay and the formal contract um, not to be changed like for the like you cannot write this code for any event which may need often changes okay so if you wanted to do some often changes then don't create it as a business event so probably this type of event will be published by uh, isv okay isv in the sense uh, independent software vendors or including Microsoft so they will be creating this business event uh, and that is uh, as I told like if it is a workflow okay like uh, based on the workflow if it is a sales order then once they someone is submitting the sales order then what it will happen then what, to whom it should go to whom should be up, approved so all these things will be happening in the business event okay so business event should not be tied up to the implementation details you should not tie the implementation details in the business events like you should not use any tables or fields in the record uh, this type of uh, data should not be there in the business event okay i'll show you all these types of event in the code so just first let us understand the difference next one is the integration event integration event is also a custom event that is you can write the event then you can write the al code okay but the integration event you can write the implementation details over it uh, it can be changed so the main purpose is what to enable the integration of other solutions with d365 business central without having to perform a traditional code modifications so this is what the integration so the last session we discussed that is in the previous video you can go and check we discussed about the integration event okay you can create an event you can write your own um, own um uh, event in that you can write your own event you can publish that so this is what the integration event this is also a custom event okay you are going to write a code for this event so next one is an internal event so it can be subscribed only uh, from within the same module which means you can write the custom event okay even it can have the implementation details and but it should be in the same module you cannot call it anywhere once you have created that internal event you can call it from that particular module itself 
and the fourth one is what the global event so uh, by the name itself you can see that this is a global event but this is a predefined system event okay so as i told we have what we have two types of uh, uh, event one that is uh, this is a type okay but in that we have uh, we can write two types of code one is a custom code okay that is you are you can write your own code that is the custom code the second one is what system defined code that is already those codes are written written and there in the system itself you can simply use it you cannot do anything over that so global events are predefined system event okay so this is basically uh, raised by the base application like code in its itself i'll show you how what are the what are the global events which you have so um, for the most of these global event there will be a trigger okay so the like you can do a before event for example on before uh, uh, the page in it page or on before on after so these type of event you can see that in your um, in your uh, code itself okay these are all the events which is already written okay this is called we call it as a global event the global events are defined as an integration event publisher by the local methods and the last type of event is what the trigger event so this is also a predefined event so you can easily tell that if uh, if it is a custom uh, if you want to write a custom code then you can either do it in a business event or in the integration event or in the internal event so that is the possibility and if you wanted to use that is if you wanted to use the already written code then you have to go to global event or the trigger event okay this two are possibility so custom code custom code can be written with the first three that is uh, integration business and internal okay and uh, the uh, second other two things for example the trigger uh, and global events uh, are related to the predefined uh, predefined code okay so you can see that this is what the trigger event okay so these are all the predefined events even trigger or the predefined events published by the runtime okay whenever you execute no this will be uh, automatically executed they cannot be raised programmatically you cannot write raise it programmatically okay there are two types of trigger events one is a database trigger event and second one is a page trigger event so what is the database trigger event is what um the database trigger is what it's automatically raised okay it will be automatically raised uh, by the system when it performs a database operation on table object so basically all the data whichever you are trying to store will be stored in the table which is obviously a data database okay so the database trigger event will happen with the table so whenever you are deleting something whenever you are trying to insert something whenever you want to modify rename a record so all these happens the trigger will be applicable for this type of events uh, this type of uh, 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 trigger events okay these are all defined in the table itself so the trigger events are closely related uh, to the database operation like on delete on insert so on delete what it should happen on insert what it should happen on modify on rename on validate that is specifically for the field okay so uh, for each database operation there is a before and after trigger event with the fixed signature there will be a before and after trigger event so it will be there by default so page trigger event page trigger events are raised automatically by the system when it and perform a certain operation in a page object happens example like on open page on close page on action okay so here you can see all the types of event so this is a business event integrated event internal global and trigger so these are all the various categories which we have discussed so far this is a custom code whether you can write the custom code or not s in the sense a tick mark or no in the sense a cross mark formal contract is there any formal contract for that okay published by who who can publish it okay and try it up with the implementation details can be changed whether you can change often predefined system events is this a predefined system event it can be raised through a program automatically raised by the system associated with only table associated with only page any other types okay all these things i have um, uh, i have given in a table to in order to ease your work so let us see 
uh, how these things you can access it in your code. So this is the code in it which I have created. Once you click a, a that is once you insert a square bracket and press control and space, you can see various types of event here. So this is a business event and you can see this is an integration event. And once if you type IN, you can see internal event. And uh, the next one is what global event, which you cannot create it. And also the trigger event, which you cannot create it. Okay. So these three types of events you can create it. So once if you give a business event, okay. So once if you give a business event, you can see what are the, uh, what are the thing which you can do it, like include center and isolate it. Specify the method which is published by the business event. So since I told that business event are uh, uh, are considered to not to change often and this is only specifically for any workflow type of thing then you can go with the business event okay so that is why we should not use such business events um, uh, business events for all that is uh, uh, that is uh, what to say like you cannot use it for if if that particular event has multiple uh, changes or if it the uh, that particular event needs uh, implementation uh, more often that is you have to do, you do some uh, implementation often then then you should not go with the business event okay so here you can just go with the business event and uh, for example if i type business event then you can simply use um true okay so you can simply go with the true and then you can create a procedure which should be a global procedure okay and then i'm just going to create um my business event and as you know that uh, in your business event that should not be any implementation details or you should not have any um what to say you should not uh, have any uh, logic written in that so this is the simple business event which you can create okay so this is what a simple business event if it is a business event okay and if you wanted to use any uh, other type of event like integration event already i have discussed about the integ integration event with you so that is the simple example for the integration event and if you wanted to go with an internal event okay so internal event is also can be made uh, so here you have to mention internal event and you should men mention that this is access as okay so access let me just delete this code okay access is equal to internal so in access method you can see two types one is internal and public so i'm just making this access as internal and then if i if i can call for the internal event and here i'm just making it true so for any type of event okay any type of event you have to go with the procedure that is for sure okay but the, the three types of event business integration and internal you have to go with the um, uh, procedure okay so you can create a procedure but ensure that you are not uh, internal event okay so ensure that you are not uh, writing any logic into the event so this is how you can create the internal event okay uh, and the next one is what uh, the integration event which we have discussed already and the th uh, fourth one is what the global event okay so as i discussed global events are already pre-written events so you can find uh, the global event in the uh, probably in the code unit of uh, 40 i think so let us go and explore uh, the code unit here so that you can find what are the global events which are already available so you can just go to the code units here click on the code units and check for uh, 40 yeah login management so here you can see these are all the events which are already pre-written okay these are all the pre-written events so here you can see various uh, thing this particular uh, uh, login management which includes several global method triggers like company open company close get system indicator so if you just see company open company close system in uh, get system uh, data and everything so you can find various uh, global global events here okay so this was introduced to the replacement of the 40 
two that is a caption management um, uh, global unit so this is a sample global uh, this is a sample uh, global events which is already written okay like on after delete you can see all, everything over here okay this is a global unit uh, a global events example and the other type of things are like a trigger okay so we can uh, we can always see the trigger like on after delete okay so this is a global event and the next one is what the trigger so once if you type t trigger and you have a predefined uh, triggers here okay on run and other than that you can see a database trigger like on after delete uh, sorry on after delete event or uh, on after insert event okay you have various types of event uh, in basically in the uh, trigger events and in the or page page trigger you have on after action event trigger on after get current record so all these things are pre written you can find it um uh, find the event subscriber uh, uh, trigger events okay so on before insert on after insert everything which is uh, which will be executed for example if it is on before insert event which will be executed um uh, before any insert has happened okay okay so this is what executed before a record is inserted so uh, these are all the pre written events got it so here you can find various uh, uh, events here so you can find that in the core unit or every, everything you can find it in the core unit you can find the uh, triggers and everything so here you can find those uh, events okay global triggers and uh, company triggers if you click on the global triggers you can find some events which are available here okay it global trigger mark on global trigger on delete everything is available here so these are all the various types of events which we have in business central i hope you understand what is the uh, what are the types of event and how to implement it what to implement when and where so we will uh, i will see you with a different um, probably the debugger okay or else uh, some other uh, topic which is already requested previously so we will talk about this soon thank you take care bye bye